All right, in this video, we're just going to talk about the uh, folder structure that we have here set up. Um, and the only purpose of these folders here is uh, for the reports. Uh, here on the Templates tab, uh, if, we, if we look here, the, the top folder is always going to be named whatever you named your job when you created that job. Um, and, and this here is just going to total up everything throughout the whole project if we choose to use these folders. Uh, the next one down is the Location folder. Um, that, that is going to be uh, for you to set multiple locations on the same job if, if you choose to do so. Um, say you have a, a, an apartment complex with, uh, you know, eight buildings or something. Buildings one through four may be the same. Buildings five through eight may be the same. That, that is where you would use a location folder uh, to separate those items. And the zone folders here are just for the specific task or uh, specific item that, that we're working on within that location just to sum all that up together. Uh, let's jump over here to the estimating tab and take a look at one that we already have uh, going here. Uh, if, if we look here, just uh, minimize these. Uh, the top one here is, is again our, our job folder, just named whatever we named our job. Uh, these next four down are going to be location folders and this is how we have broken up this job. Um, we, we separate it into those four areas. Um, it, now if we expand these, we can see the specific task within those areas. And, and these would be zone folders here. And, you know, we, we can see, uh, for, for instance, here on the apartment building brick, we also have CMU and brick. You know, if you add those two up, you get the, the 139 there. The, the trash compactor and recycling, we actually have CMU, brick, and cast stone. And again, if, if we add those up, we, we get that amount there. And, and like I said, these are only used for the reports. Um, so if we go to the reports here, we can take a look at, at how it did this for us. All right. Uh, here's just a sample material report. You see the four locations that we have again. Um, it has separated the material out into those locations, and then it's uh, in this report, it's separated by like item. Um, so it's going to be the same all the way down. Um, we can also do the same with labor. Uh, again, it's separated out into the locations, so we can see the labor by location. Um, here, here's one of our sample uh, bid proposal uh, reports. Um, where you, you fill in your name, the customer name, your terms and conditions, whatever. Um, and, and these items will show up on your uh, bid proposal uh, based on it, the report, if you checked if they're a proposal item or not. And you'll see the total job cost of $230,713.77. Um, that is going to match what we have here on our estimating tab. So that is the total cost of the job. Uh, see here 237 um, so again all the all these folders do is separate things for the reports only um, other than that there is no function of them you will get the the same quantities um, the same total dollar amounts by not using those um, as you would with using those um, but they they will just separate things out for us to, to make it easier to to identify things later on within the reports um, if, if we expand these zone folders, you'll see all the different actual takeoff items that we've used. And it's quite a, quite a list we have here. Um, you know, the, the apartment building brick, for example, here. Um, we have multiple different heights of brick. Um, it changes, you know, up and down. Um, so do, do we really need to list all those out on our proposal? You know, probably not. Um, so we just total them up, and, and, and we get, you know, the total there. And... and uh, that's how we decide to do that. Uh, generally, I just list the uh, zone folders on the proposal. Uh, proposal item here, the, the far right, if you check that box, that item will show up on the, on the report, on the uh, bid proposal report, if you do choose to use those. And, and, and the reports are, are something that you, you, you know, you, you do yourself. Um, there, there are so many options within the reports that we can't possibly make one for everybody. Um, we're happy to, to help you get started on them, um, get you set up on a couple of them if, if you'd like, if you need some help with that. 
um, but we just can't make one for every scenario because there's so much you can do within the reports here. So, but you'll see the, these are the, uh, what do we have here, eight items, it looks like, um, that we have checked on the estimating tab, and that is what shows up on the bid proposal here. So that's what the folder structure is. That's how it's used. Um, if you got any questions, let us know. Uh, otherwise, uh, stay tuned for our next video. Thanks.